Hi guys. So it is uh, Thursday, Thursday afternoon. I bought some fresh tuna at the market and I'm gonna cut it up. It's a half of, half of a whole tuna. Um, I picked it out, it was in the ice in a huge, huge vat, you know, it's, good. it's a cooler, but it's like, it's like the size of a table, the cooler. And this, this tuna was about seven kilos total. I got half of it. Um, so it's fresh. Um, it wasn't cut up and sitting on a table. It was it was in a big, huge cooler covered in ice with a big lid on it. And um, I'm gonna cut it up, I'm gonna put it on the grill, and I'm also gonna make some sushi tonight. I'm gonna see how it comes out. So, this is definitely a species of skipjack. I can tell by the color of the meat, but I'm not really sure which one. There's a few different species on this side of the world that I'm not familiar with. But it's definitely not a yellowfin, and they don't have bluefin over here. So it's definitely um, you know, a skipjack, or some type of subspecies or similar to a skipjack. You'll see. So I'm gonna attempt to fillet this bad boy up. I filleted tuna up to 300 pounds on my boat. So this shouldn't be a problem. My smoky Joe needs to be cleaned. I think I'm gonna take it to the car wash with the pressure wash this sucker. But it needs a good cleaning. I got some tuna on the grill, some fresh tuna. I don't wanna overcook it, but you have to understand that Filipinos, they love everything overcooked. I don't really have a great, great set of tongs here. <laughs> it smells delicious, but it's not quite ready to be turned. Because it's not, it's only sticking. Yeah. some better utensils here. So, uh, problem is I waited for the grill, waited too long. Now it's not hot, it really hot enough. So it's the end of another work day. Chickens are all these are all our chickens. These are all our native, all our native chickens. They're, they're growing up. These are all the ones that hatched a few months ago. Waiting for the food. Made, this guy is over here eating the, the crumbs. But um, I'm also going to try and make some uh, sushi. I don't know how it's going to come out. I've already made it a couple times here. It was really good. The the girls seem to only love the um, vegetarian ones. They're not, they're not fond of raw fish. They like the uh, cucumber and avocado rolls. The goat, see the goat over there? Look at him. Having a good time. Rolling around. That's Billy. He's eating all my plants. So I think they're going to have to go. He ate, he ate my uh, plants that Joe Seeley gave me. He, he almost ate my strawberries, but I caught him in time. Um, ruined one of uh, our little trees from the mountains that we bought. That we didn't bought, we brought it. So, I just don't think we can have goats. Because 
once I do the landscaping, I don't want them eating everything. And I don't want to keep them cooped up in a pen. So I don't I don't know. I have to I have to um think about this one. So this is my sushi. You gonna have one? You have to you have to um give it the taste test. She likes it. So I made this tonight. I have tuna, avocado, and cucumber, and just avocado and cucumber. The tuna I pan seared just to be on the safe side, even though it was fresh. Uh, I still had, you know, a little little reservation with this particular fish. Um, but in any case, it's still delicious. So, that's the dinner for tonight. Sushi. A little soy sauce with the wasabi. That's good. Mm. My water. Still pretty hot even though it's late at night. So ooh, looks so good. I made this. Can you believe it? Yep. Mm. It's good. Sushi for dinner tonight. This is just avocado and cucumber. I have I have a mixed avocado cucumber.